Jacksonville has seen some bold growth recently. Thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Phillips. Take a look at this chart posted by the U.S. Census this week. It shows Jacksonville among the top 15 fastest growing cities in the U.S. Zach Wilcox is on your side live in downtown. And Zach, Jacksonville is number four on the list. Yeah, Riley, right up there with San Antonio and Fort Worth for some of the biggest gains in the country. Let's give you a little perspective. 14,000 people moved to Jacksonville between 2022 and 2023, or at least 14,000 people it was the growth number, and that is two and a half times the population of Starks. So imagine that, two and a half Starks into Jacksonville in just one year. And the thing is, when you have that many people coming to the city, you got to have a place for all those people to go. Florida on a whole is very strong, but the Jacksonville Metro, the seven counties that comprise that Metro have really seen significant economic growth. New census data places Jacksonville fourth on the list of the fastest growing cities in the U.S. in terms of total people added. Jacksonville area real estate broker Cindy Tomasetti says there's a pretty simple explanation for the phenomenon. You build the jobs and they will come. And that's why I believe we've had this huge influx over the last few years, why our population is steadily growing. The surge has pushed Jacksonville's population to just under a million, officially adding it to the nation's top 10 most populated cities, knocking Austin, Texas out in the process, according to census data. Tomasetti says the growth is noticeable when it comes to the real estate market. They don't have the single family homes for them. So that's why if you're a developer, these apartment buildings make sense. So yeah, you are seeing apartments popping up everywhere to try and you know, keep up with this demand. She says the strong job market means many of the new folks are interested in finding a home, which has kept Jacksonville in a prolonged seller's market with a relatively low inventory. However, the growth doesn't come without headaches. I hope personally that the infrastructure can keep up with the population growth. That's always my worry. So while Jacksonville will be getting some of the attention from this uh, census data, Thomas said he mentioned that amongst local real estate agents and brokers, it's Clay County that's been getting attention for them. They've got an eye on Clay County because it's so affordable, relatively affordable there for new homes and for people to move into homes there that they've seen it just stay in a really strong seller's market, even more prolonged than Jacksonville. We're starting to see Jacksonville and St. Johns County move a little bit more toward a more buyer friendly market, but Clay County really staying strong in the sellers area. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side.